Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And I've got to say that uh, there is a sort of a schism brewing within the Labour Party, and it's going to start from something very small. You have Anna Sawa, a man in Scotland who leads the Scottish Labour Party. His party may have won a lot of seats at Westminster last Thursday, but he's as much power today as he did a week ago. None at all. Um, he doesn't control the Scottish Government, and so all the devolved stuff is still down to the SNP, and he wants Keir Starmer to, say for example, uh, get rid of the two-child cap for child allowance and things. And Keir Starmer said, no, can't afford it. And so there's this schism over that. But that's only the start of the schism because there's so many... Um, and you've got to be careful of the differentiation here. And I don't mean Muslims. Muslims, fine, no problem. Work with Muslims. Um, I used to go to a Muslim woman. I worked with a Muslim woman. I used to go to her house, fix her kid's computer. She came in on a Monday with a bottle of brandy from a Muslim woman. You know what I mean? Islamists. It's, the, it's those Muslims who are very, very staunch Islamists are going to be the problem in the Labour Party. And we're already seeing it. We're already seeing it. And they're talking about the Islamic vote. Not the Christian vote, the Jewish vote, the, the, the atheist vote. But there is the Muslim vote. And they're talking about this. They've got this, 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 this niche. It's a, it's a group within a group within a group. And it's going to metastasize. And it's going to start forcing itself and pushing itself. Going, oh, no, you did this. You know, Labour policy is anti-Islamic and all this rubbish. And so harder and harder will Labour pander to the Islamists. And this is the point where Anasawa will eventually have to make a choice. Is he just a Muslim who's joined the Labour Party? Or is he an Islamist who's now fighting against the Labour Party from within? And that is going to split the Labour Party. I mean, it won't be Keir Starmer dealing with it. He won't be there long enough. Won't give him long. And then you'll have Prime Minister Angela Rayner. And she's already seeing the problems. You've got Jess Phillips. Jess Phillips is seeing the problems. She's had to walk back her claims. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've got to try and keep the, the Muslim vote on board. Um, you know, but uh, she knows what they've done now. She's starting to see the problems that they've caused by what they're doing. And the pandering. Won't be long. And Labour are going to have a big rent. They are going to split asunder, I think. Uh, in much the way that uh, the Tory party basically split between Tory and reform, I think you're going to have the same thing with Labour. And the split's going to be down marginal Islamism lines. Now, at the moment, there's not a great deal of numbers, but maybe 10%. That's a huge number in terms of voting across the country. There may well be an Islamic party formed. Who knows? Islamic Labour. A new party. Keir Starmer has got a clamp on this right away. He's got to exercise his authority or he is toast. I personally think he's toast anyway. And I don't think if uh, Rayner does become prime minister after him, she'll be able to deal with it. I don't think this government will last five years. So um, fingers crossed, because if it only lasts, say, three years, and as I mentioned in my previous video, um, reform snag a load of uh, Tory voters, Tory members, end up with a reform government in three, four years' time. Things will be different then. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. I'll speak to you later. More insights. Bye.